What is up guys, PSV here, and again, long time no see. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you an ATS video. This is probably the first proper ATS video on the channel. You're going to have many more guys. I'm going to be sitting back, relaxing, doing a long journey, and talking to you about what, what's been going on with the channel. Before we get started, let me show you what route we're doing today. So as I bring up the map here, as you can see, we've got quite a long journey. We're starting off up here. We go uh, San Diego, deep. Diego, whatever you, however you bloody hell you pronounce that, all the way down to Yami, if that's spelt right, uh, pronounced right. Sorry, um, it works out about six hours and six minutes, two hundred thirty-four miles. So it's quite a fairly big drive. We're gonna try and discover as much as we can on this video that I've got planned. So guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. And I'm gonna be having a chat with you. So let's get in our baby and get it started. Nice beefy engine. Right, so I'm hoping that everything's now set up. I've just spent the last hour or so setting up all my uh, G27 controls and everything. So hopefully, it will all be okay with some hope. Fingers crossed. So I haven't actually played Euro Truck in so long. But like this ain't Euro Truck, is it? It's American Truck. I'm such a habit saying Euro Truck. I've not actually played any trucking games in so long. For one main reason, and I'm sure you all understand, begins with a W and ends in a K. Work. It's all I ever seem to be doing. So if we head back to just after Christmas, we're going to talk about what happened with myself so if I head back just after Christmas I got myself a two, uh, another job so at this point in time I was doing two jobs I was doing Tesco's as you all know that I work in Tesco's I am um, I'm trying to get up the ladder just that's as far as it goes with that at the moment basically I thought I need some more money they weren't offering me as many uh, hours as expected and it just wasn't giving me enough money for myself to enjoy my life so, I ended up getting this second job. So, I kept Tesco's for just weekends, and then I thought, I'm going to get this other job, and hopefully that'll bring in a bit more of a stronger income for me to have more of a fun time for myself. I've done that for a few months. I was doing the two jobs. I was not really getting a day off. I was, whenever I wasn't working at another job, I was working at Tesco's or vice versa. I didn't really get a day off. The pay was lovely, but it kind of just I had no social life. Me being a 19 year old now, because it was my birthday the other week, me being a 19 year old now, I kind of want to have my social life as well as do the stuff that I enjoy doing. So I thought, right, I sat down and I thought really, really hard about this. And I thought, I don't know what to do anymore. And what I mean by I don't know what to do anymore, I was just not getting any social life. Yes, I was enjoying the money and I was buying luxuries, but I was never being able to really show them off or use them because I had no time, because if I wasn't working at one job, I was at the other. Oh, got a crash offence, whoops. My bad. So as you can see guys, we are in the minuses. It's just because this is just a dud account. I kind of went a bit crazy on one day with my mate, and we just crashed into stuff, but I'm taking this more seriously now. So I'm doing this quite a big job to get uh, a fair amount of income coming in. I think we're getting just over three and a bit grand for doing this. It'll be quite nice. Um. Where was I? So yeah, I didn't really get a social life or show off the features that I brought. So I sat down long and hard with my family and I thought, is this really for me? I don't really know. And I had to think about it. My other job was self-employed. I was doing like gardening and landscaping and stuff like that. And to be honest, it wasn't really for me. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed it, but I could, I much preferred being at, uh, doing my Tesco's job, moving up the ladder, earning a steady income than I did doing the landscaping. So I kind of thought, enough's enough really. If I'm feeling like this and I don't really want to put in the time and effort and, and I'm not really enjoying my like the way my life's going at the moment with, and the work side, obviously personal side, it's going great. But on my work side, I thought, I need to start doing something about it. So weeks to come, I thought long and hard about it and I handed in, obviously my notice and told the guy that I worked for, for the landscaping, that I'm, not, I'm no longer going to be there and I'm going to be leaving within uh, three weeks. So three weeks later, obviously it comes to my last day, I let 
why are uh, that three weeks was going ahead? I have thought again long hard about Tesco's. The, the store that I very, 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 very started in was an express store, and it was a very small store. It was they classed it as a training shop. They trained people that wanted to step up in there because it's really small, but yet kind of busy, but not as big and busy as the main ones. So it was quite a nice little starter. But I thought, I've been doing it for a year, a year and a bit now, and I kind of thought, I want a bit of a change. So what can I do to make that change? So I, I, a friend of mine, who's currently moved to a bigger store, and it's actually in the heart of town, um, moved there. And I thought, oh yeah, okay, I think that's the kind of thing I'd like to do. Move to a bigger store, busier, time's going to go quicker, more hours, more money, so on, I could go on. But... Then I kind of thought again, and I thought, is it really for me, do I really want to do it? But then I kind of just went ahead with it. I've moved stores. That after um, four weeks that took me. Four weeks to move stores, because you have to, uh, it takes, the transfer can take up to four weeks, no longer than four weeks in the whole store. Well, anyway, my manager being my manager, the type of person that they are, held me for a solid four weeks. And I was expecting that because, obviously, personal reasons I know that I just knew that was going to happen so I thought okay they've held me for my four weeks I go to my new store potentially thinking oh I can get all them hours it's a much busier shop much bigger shop more hours for me more money so I moved over had my set contract but believe it or not considering I'm not in full-time education it was only 10 hours if you think of that guys 10 hours that's nothing. That was just enough to pay some of my bills, my important bills. I had no money for myself. So I sat down with the manager at the news store and said, me thinking intentionally, having the potential of more hours, more this, more that, to earn myself a bit of a living. Um, and I've kind of come over and I've not got anything. Unfortunately, there's so many people in that store that want the same as me. And they are also wanting more hours, more money, more everything else. What's fair enough? It's all got to be shared equally. So after a while, I've, I've been there a couple of, well, about a month now. And I kind of thought, I'm still not getting enough money. I'm not getting enough money. I've left this other job. I'm scrimping and scraping because I'm not earning enough. So I kind of thought, right, I'm going to have to look elsewhere. So yet again, another little transfer. Well, I say a little transfer. This is quite a big step, this next one. So I looked online, had a look about, went to a big store, because at the moment I was in an express, and I looked at a main store, and I thought, main store, there's so many different apartments, it's going to be massive, it's going to help you like, progress, maybe move up the ladder. There's going to be a lot more opportunities, a lot more hours in there for me. I went for an interview. Um, there, I got offered an interview, so I went down and had a chat with the uh, manager. Obviously, it's a bit different in interviews because you already work for Tesco, so it's more than just a chat than it is a serious interview. But obviously, you want to make sure you still do all the right things, uh, give yourself a good first impression. But I was sitting there and I was thinking, I've only just walked in and I feel welcomed already. I kind of felt part of them. Everyone was saying hello to me and all that. They didn't even know who I was, but they still made me feel welcome. So I thought, yeah, I spoke to him about the opportunities, I spoke about how I need more hours and all this. So they offered, they said to me, we, we could potentially have this to offer you. And what they offered me was a 26 and a half hour contract. And for going from 10 hours to 26 and a half, that's a big jump. That's over double. So I was thinking, yeah, that's great. Straight away I was on that, I was like, yes, I'll take the transfer right here, right now, if it's up for offer. Done, dusted. Two weeks later, what, um, two weeks later, I got a phone call. Hello. Um, we'd like to offer you the job. I was thinking, brilliant. Absolute brilliant. I got the job. More hours, more that. Can you come and discuss the um, hours with us? Um, in store now. So I was like, yeah, sure. So I also got me uh, bits and bobs. Got, went down to the store. But I was kind of thinking in my head. I was thinking, God, I've got a bit of a problem here. They're talking about hours. Are they going to take hours off me? Are they going to uh, 
Oh, there, uh, bus second. Please put into the vehicle way station. Okay, I've got to get weighed. You're calling me fat, Mike. Put into here. Oh, I will carry on in a second, guys. Please don't be overweight. Right, done. That was nice and easy. So I, I was thinking, are they going to take taking hours off me? Are they going to be, I don't know, changing my days I'm going to be working? Or, or what not? And I was, I was panicking. I was really, really panicking. Inside I was happy that they said they got the job. But then on the other hand, I was still panicking. I was thinking, because this could backfire on me and I could be shooting myself straight in the foot. It's a bit of a gamble. And I pulled up in my car, jumped out, got went into the store, spoke to the person that I had to speak to, and they went into like a little interview room and had a little discussion. She pulls out this bit of paper, slaps it on the table, and goes, right, this is what I can offer you. And I looked, and I, I, I was gobsmacked. I was like, Jesus, sort of thing. I was like, whoa, Christ, I don't know what, uh, what to say. I didn't know, is this for me, or is this not? As she pulled out this bit of paper, she goes, this is what I can offer you, and slaps down 33 hour contract a week that's full time considering Tesco's are no longer handing out full time contracts I, I was quite lucky someone that was meant to have the other job didn't want it so I'm now taking some of their hours to make up mine so I've now got, gone from a 10 hour to a 33 hour contract and I can't say guys I am absolutely over the moon it's a full time job so my videos are not going to be as frequently as I want them to be. I know I say this all the time, guys. You're probably get sick and tired of me saying this. But I know I have, I have gaps where I don't upload for ages. But obviously my private life and my income comes first. I don't make any money from YouTube. I just do it for fun. But, you know, obviously I've got to make my earning and basically live my life first. So what they're going to do... So I went to, uh, today I went to my store, spoke to my manager, and again, I've got a horrible, horrible feeling he's going to make me hold, hold me for my four weeks. I really hope they don't, um, because I'm really buzzing to go over to my new store. There's a lot more opportunity for me. Already, they said if I go in with the attitude I have towards work, I could get far, and they can offer me manager, going up to support to managers and so on. And to me, I felt over the moon. I couldn't stop smiling. I was like, I'm so happy. I've actually got myself a full-time job after a year and a bit being with Tesco. I thought some stuff started to go on track. So yeah, it's actually going really, really well. Uh, where are we? Just something, guys. Oh, right, we're nearly there anyway. That's absolutely fine. I've just seen how long we have left. Can remember. But yeah, that's what's happening in my life at the moment. I know I've dragged on a little bit, I do apologise, but I want to talk to you personally so you actually know what's going on. So YouTube. YouTube. So my channel was growing so well, and even when I've not been uploading, I'm still getting some subscribers, now nearly on 200 subscribers. As you know guys, I appreciate every, let every single one of you for subscribing, I appreciate, and you all know that. But my plan is, I'm going to make a bank of videos each week on my day off to upload throughout the week. There might be a week, there might be two weeks where there will be no videos. But I've still got to settle into my new job. You're running low on fuel. Shit. I forgot about the fuel. Uh, we haven't got long to go. That's alright. We should be alright. That's all right, still got enough in there for a bit. So, yeah, that's what my plan is. I'm gonna make a bank of videos each week and try and get them up regularly. Because I want my channel to grow. I want to eventually be able to have thousands of subscribers and you never know, become full time. If that was the case, that'd be great. If it's not, I'm happy enough doing it for fun because I'm not greedy with, with it. I enjoy everything. I just like making the content and delivering it to people who are into the same thing as me. It's really good fun. God, I've got a sore throat talking so much. 15 minutes so far of talking. Woo. 
Okie dokie, so we're coming up to our destination now. Because I haven't done this in so long, I'm going to take the easy one just because I really haven't done this in so long. Hopefully, I'm getting enough turn on that just to concentrate straight in it. I don't care. Of course not. Oh shit, I think I pressed the wrong button. Uh, I don't know if that was in or not. But anyway, we're going to leave it there guys. I've dragged on and dragged on. But I really hope you appreciate me talking about all this. This is quite a personal matter. And I've delivered some personal information to you guys. And I really hope you enjoyed it. And without further ado guys, thank you ever so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy your day. And I'll see you on my next video. Cheers guys. Thank you.